coming up after the break. DJ Johnny mixes some of today's best beats and shows us why he's one of the best. I've been DJing for eight years now. I'm an Arabic DJ. Edmonton is known to have quite a diverse music scene. So to prove that theory, Rehan Siphling checks in with one man that goes by the name of DJ Johnny. He calls Edmonton home and he's North America's number one Arabic DJ. But now he's ready to take on the world. Number one Arabic DJ in North America, traveling around Canada and the U.S. DJ Johnny. My name is DJ Johnny. I've been DJing for eight years now. I'm an Arabic DJ. Started out from Toronto, moved out to Edmonton, been here for four or five years, and I do shows all over Canada and the U.S. I want to become the world's top Arabic DJ. Johnny's strongest marketing tool at the moment is Facebook and YouTube. He is currently rated the number one Arabic DJ in North America. DJ in 18 different cities, open for five big names, um, Arabic, Arabic artists. I think, I think I've gone pretty far in my career. I've been in my career for about eight years now. So. Besides clubs and parties, Johnny also does weddings, engagements, and charity occasions. Highly, highly, highly believe in any sort of charity events and charity parties. If you get, if you get established and you get, you want to come to a point where you're doing, you know, I'm saying I only want to go out to do a party, of, you know, minimum two thousand dollars or five thousand dollars to do a party. What you got to keep in mind is that you can go out and do a five hundred dollar party, and sitting at that five hundred dollar party could be an agent for a very big artist, and want you to tour with that artist for the rest of this tour, you know, potentially making you thousands of dollars. I've met a ton of people. Every time Johnny met someone new, he felt it was a great experience. You know, you learn a lot about their personality. They're not all great people, but you learn a lot about, the person, about their personality and you learn about really like what it, what it means to be that famous. I mean, you, you know, you're in a situation where you're meeting somebody that has been in the industry for about 10 or 15 years. You know, they've recorded numerous albums and you just, all you can think about is, wow, I really want to be that person one day. My, my level of mixing, um, my song selection, my interactivity with the crowd is definitely where I am at with my career right now. And I was just trying to get that exposure to take myself one more extra step. For you to become popular, in order for you to become a DJ, and especially working like myself. Johnny does not do a lot of marketing and radio advertising, so it takes a lot more effort to become popularly known. For you to become popular, and the way you become popular is through the people that refer you. And I think. You know, first and foremost, thanks, thank God for everything that he's provided me. But secondly, thanks all my friends and family and everybody that's ever referred me for any party. I think that's, they're primarily the main reason that I'm here today. Johnny is on the path to great success. He plans to keep DJing until he is number one. I'm Rehan Seifeldin reporting for Nate Newswatch Extra.